Hey guys, this is Edward's Hobbies, and today I'm showing you a pretty cool note that I got. This here is a $10 National Bank note from the First National Bank of Meriden, Connecticut. And there's a lot of cool stuff about this note. So I got this note for a few different reasons. One being I wanted to get more national currency and I saw this and it looked pretty cool. It's graded. It's graded by PMG, Paper Money Guarantee. It's graded very fine 20. It does have some staining over here and then it does say stain on the back, but that's okay. It doesn't take away too much from the value. Like if there's a comment on the back here, yes, it's kind of like cleaning your damaged like on coins, but it doesn't take the value away as much as like a cleaned coin. Um, another reason I bought this, look at that serial number, 003322. That's like, usually you see a quad pair like this one. This is a quad pair note. See, it's 33446622. And this is 003322. Also, it starts with two zeros. That's a pretty low serial number, 3322. So yeah. I really like the serial number, and it's a trinary, zeros, twos, and threes. Almost kind of a ladder, like, or mixed ladder of sorts, which is cool, but not really. Um, and yeah, so that's the note. It's got a brown seal here, and I can compare it to, here's like a Federal Reserve note, $10 bill. This is a 1950 A. I got it at the bank. So you can see pretty similar. The top is a little bit different, but the rest of the note is pretty similar besides the charter numbers. And I can compare it to my $5 national currency. This one's from the Marine National Bank of Milwaukee. And pretty similar. I did notice the top here is a little different. Uh, secured by the United States bonds and is like outside of the national currency box on the 10, but it's inside it on the five. And the five kind of has it United States of America curved like that here. It's just flat. But yeah, now it's cool to have two national currencies. And I really like the brown seal on the big five or 10 there, which is cool to see. And something cool I figured out with national currency is, well, I'll show you the book first. I got this book. It's called Paper Money of the United States. It's basically like a red book for paper money, but it's got a lot more information than just prices. We can go over to national currency here and small size national banknotes. Um, $10 notes. This one's graded 25. It was also nice to get a graded note. This is my first graded note because now I have like a benchmark to go off of. I'm not just guessing. I know if it's similar to this, it's about a 25. If it's better than this, better. If it's worse, then worse than 25. And it's a nice middle grade. So if you get a graded note, I'd recommend getting one and get it in like 20, 25, or 30 something so you just have something to go off of but then here vf20 to ef40 so probably about 80 85 dollars maybe somewhere in that range because it's it's a type one meaning it just has the charter number on the sides here if it were a type two and there's one there's a five dollar here it has the charter number over by the serial number there too but yeah, then it'll also show you like the states, like if you're getting one from Alaska, there's three known of each large and small size or type one and type two. So $10,000 each and we have 20. But then if you go to like Connecticut where this is from, it's just, uh, there's 51 banks and it's just the regular 75 because Connecticut made a lot of notes. 
And then what's cool, so if that wasn't cool enough, then you can also look up the bank itself. So this is charter number 250, which is pretty low considering there was more than 14,000 banks. And you can go in the back of this book and there's a list of all the national banks back here. And if you go down to Connecticut, down here, we go to 250 there, Meridian, First National Bank. And this will show you the number of large size notes and small size notes known. So Meridian, Connecticut, First National Bank. See there, there's 46 large size notes, 53 small size notes known. So yeah, only 53 small size notes known. And that's equipment like 53, put that in perspective. This is 53 $1 bills. That's all of the small size notes known from this bank. And if you add those together, small and large, there's 96 or 99 notes from that bank. Here's a strap of 100. That's it. Every single note ever printed by that bank could be in here. So I own more than 1% of all the notes printed by this bank, which I just find really, really cool. So yeah, that's my 1929 $10 national currency. That's really rare and it wasn't too expensive. Uh, only 53 small size notes known. And how many of those are tens? Like, uh, I have 10, maybe 10, a fifth of them, 10 or 15 notes known. That's it. So that's why nationals can be really cool because you can get really rare notes at a great price. So yeah, that's my trinary $10 graded note, national bank note. So thanks, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.